Check, check. Okay. Greetings, Bridge friends. It's Michael here at Bridge Hands, and we are um, off and running. I hope you're doing well this Friday, and Grace will be with us in a moment. And so today on Friday, what are we, about the 23rd, I think, of October? We are on and, the 23rd. Oh, here she is. Grace. With our Hands of the Week for All, we welcome you, and thanks for joining us. We will be dis discussing Part 3, Bidding Play to Win. And with no further delay, your host... Michael. Hey, there she is. Good morning, sunshine. I hope you all are having a good day. You too, Grace. And so how's life in your neck of the woods, darling? Ooh, busy. <laughs> busy, 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 busy. No doubt. And um, yeah, we got some busy hands today. So uh, I think we've got in part three about another six hands. I think that there was maybe five good ones and one I don't know if I should say to grow on, but um, sometimes you can always blame it on the partner, right? Blame it on the robot. You and I could. did get a what's that? You could. Uh, you, you could. Or yeah. you could accept responsibility. Oh, we could accept responsibility. We'll take a look at that okay. hand. So um, I think we were seven tenths of a point out of first place, sixty-eight percent. Um, so a good good board um, and one that we'll take a look at, but we're going to focus mostly on the other handful and see um, what it takes to get top boards. Or I should maybe say, is the others, um, what can happen with the bidding and the play? And what's the word of the day this week? Or not of the day, what's the word of the week, honey? The Yiddish word? Let's see if she's Check, not. check. Something. <laughs> hoot spa. Hoot spa. Like a spa with a hoot. Hoot, 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 hoot spa. Hoot okay, spa. so so I'll remember by saying, who spa is it? Hoot yeah, spa. Just like an owl. Hoots. Hoot spa. <laughs> hoot spa. And so, yeah, it, sometimes it does take a bit of um, flair, a bit of the X factor, whatever you want to call it. And we'll kind of go over some more of that also. So, okay, I think we are Did ready to define? go. What hoot spa means, honey? Um, I'll, I'll let you do that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to spell it, let alone define it. Well, it could be flair. It could be bravery. And we know the other side of bravery sometimes is not always the best. But, um, Brass bold. It's, what? Brass bold. Oh, I thought you said something else. Brazen. <laughs> brazen. That's right. Yeah, brazen is another. And so it's one where sometimes people say, you know, this person's their... Um, winning at all costs and i don't know if you watched the debates last night for the presidential debates but yeah sometimes um you want to be a thin line before you think um i'm being assertive and you don't want to be aggressive not to your partner i hope anyway that does not Definitely make for a good long-term partner just i wanted to get to that now so i did get a question of the week came in and thank you for that and the player um you know, this happens, I think, to most all of us at some point. It's a situation where uh, I, I'd like to find a better way to say it, but um, I guess it actually has to do with any relationship, partnership, trust, partnership, communications, and partnership, respect. In this case, though, it's not with some people that have too much chutzpah, but it's ones that are more the emerging players. You know, when we all were just kind of starting off and then we got into duplicate bridge and, you know, we don't have our first hundred master points. Maybe we're still working for the first 50, in fact. And so um, they've had a couple okay games and then the last weeks so they have not been doing well. Maybe even the recent months, it's just been... You know, when you feel like you're not competitive and you wonder, I always like to say about the three types of people, the movers and the shakers, the leaders that cause things to happen, the people that are watching, the people that are always there capitalizing anytime something's going on, and those who don't know what happened at all, the third type. And we don't want to be that. Huh? And so, what's that, Grace? Huh? 
Huh? Yeah, that's right. Oh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, it turns out when you're learning and sometimes you're, you're just not aware of even what went wrong. And that's kind of a challenge because we all want to be where we have situational awareness and personal awareness. And those are two factors that get into bridge. So hopefully we'll work on that. too. I don't know if I have the answers, but sometimes... You need to work on your training. You need to work on your partnership trust. You maybe need to do some postmortems to take a look at what happened, maybe get some helping, coaching, mentoring, and so on. So we could talk maybe more about that later, but let's go ahead and get on with the show. Okay, our first hand is going to be North will be the dealer, hand number one, and I think I've got the And do right you have here. your cloaking device working today? Um, I'm cloaking. I think I have where, yeah, everything is working swimmingly, as they say. Swimmingly. If not, <laughs> well, here you go. When you think everything's going well, uh, you don't really understand the f seriousness of the situation sometimes. So do we have anybody that wants to come in with us today? We would love to have somebody or maybe more than one that they want to dial in. We can take, I think, up to about 10 people on the phone. So, Grace, what is that number? That number is 563 nine 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 two one eight five please be sure to silence your phones operators will be standing by i think i have a digitizer pen pad here that is um, a five a six and a three triple nine twenty one eighty five so I'd love to have somebody join us or multiple like i said they want to come on in um, we can have some fun with the hands that are going on today um Hope to see you there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. And, or hear uh, you. What's that, Dolly? Or hear you there. Or hear you there. That's right. I can't, well, hmm. I can write down what they're saying so I can see them indirectly. So I think the first hand is always North is the dealer. And let's take a look at it. And uh, my robot partner says, you know, Michael, I've got six points. It's a pass to the East. East has got, um, looks like an opening hand to me. So five points in spades plus one distribution. That's six. Another five in diamonds and another three in clubs. Fourteen points, one spade. And in south, well, we've got some good nuggets. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight points. Um, some reason have we this looks like a hand we have played before am i got the right ones i have coming up here i'm just i need to do a double check this it looks too good to be true well, while you're double checking i wanted to welcome mary and say hello hope you're doing well and life is beautiful for you there indeed no that that is correct these are the hands we want to be looking at i was going to say i guess because i looked at them again the other night for review so it was a pass one spade. Good to have you here, Mary. Good morning. And we've got um, seven points and another four and another maybe four plus one. And so um, what do you want to call? Doctor woke him up. Hmm. Yeah, I, I somehow I'm thinking we've seen these hands before. This is like so weird. I'm going to have to take a look a little bit more because something is just not adding up quite right yet. I could swear these were the ones we did on Wednesday. I apologize for that. Let's take a look and see. I've got the 12th, the 15th, and the 16th. And um, that is not it. The 15th. And um, I don't think that is it. Let's take a look at the ones. I do apologize for this. Grace, you're going to keep this thing going. So, Can I okay. entertain you? There is the second day don't tell me i've got the second and the third day together but um, we'll figure something out here that's the 15th and now for the 16th should be different hands shouldn't they you would think so hmm grace i think somehow we didn't get the hands copied over right we didn't we we kimasabi, kimasabi? Mm -hmm. yeah i know i know <laughs> <laughs> well, what were we talking about responsibility here oh <laughs> uh, yeah okay blame so the partner blame the partner blame the partner right so let's see what can we do about this 
Uh, why, why don't you go on and play a live game? Now I've got these hands here somewhere. Okay, there is the hands, and let's go take a look on. I'm going to show you how sausage is made here. I apologize for that. So the 17th and 16th. And there's the first hands. And if we open this boy up all the way, it should say in the south hand. Um, yep, that's the ones we're looking yeah, at. Yeah, the cloaking so. device on so we can't I see I know. It. But can I see these? No, I can't. Well, I'm going to take maybe a moment out because this is important that I get the right hand. So, Grace, I'm going to let you kind of um, talk a moment. And let me make sure I got these right hands here. Be right back. Grace. All righty. Please I'm hold. Need your seat, I think. Oh, okay. He's coming over. And I'm just talking, I suppose. I'll tell you what. Let's trade screens. Wow. I've completely lost control now, haven't I? Hi. <laughs> Good to see y'all. Hope you're doing well. And while Michael is retrieving his files, maybe uh, we've been burning the candles on both ends, but if y'all don't have any additional plans, you can come and visit us in about a little less than four hours over at California Travel Videos, and we're going to be talking about predictions for 2021. So if you have any thoughts or ideas or curiosities, come on over and visit us there. Hit the like and the subscribe, trying to get us up to a thousand so we can go on our next trip and take y'all with us. And let's see what's happening in the bridge world. Anybody have any good online games or make any master points? Hi there, Patty. Good to see you. I know Patty recently got her bronze and John, I think, got a silver. So how about you? And let's see. I don't know if I can see comments from Facebook. Oh, I do see those. How about you, Mary? Have you gotten any good bridge online lately? So. How about we take this time and some of you can explain to me, I know the X is a double, but some of those terminologies that are shorthand in the game of bridge, like PT for partner, of course, we have the clubs, diamonds, all those. But if you can think of some good acronyms, go ahead and give those to me. John's not silver yet. He is at Ellis Creek with the owl boxes. So he, he must be getting close to silver though, right, Patty? Or he's working on his, getting his silver. Speaking of working on getting silver, boy, I tell you, this light is really making me look like I'm working on getting silver too. How you doing over there, Michael? Um, it's going to be about another two minutes, but he is working as fast as he can. He said he's working as fast as he can. It's going to be about two more minutes, so please stand by. We appreciate your patience and your good nature. Mary says, I'm playing four nights a week. Fun. And have you had some good games, Mary? All right, Patty, you got your hair colored. Yay. I've been doing my own for like, I don't know, probably since I was about 16 or 17. So a lot of experience in coloring my hair. Lately, I just haven't had the desire. So we've gone from playing bridge to colored hair. <laughs> Ooh, Patty says that she thinks John has over 900 points. What does it take to get to 1,000? I mean, I'm sorry, not <laughs> takes a hundred more. What does it take to get to silver? Is that a thousand? Master points. I mean, more master points. MP, right? Good for you. Ah, even more by yourself than a with your partner. That's a way to go. Pat yourself on the back, Patty. That's a good job. And then Mary says over on Facebook, yes, some good, but not always. But I love the challenge. Isn't that what life is all about? We really don't learn from the things that go perfect. We learn from the things where things go wrong and then we kind of perfect them. So it definitely is a little bit more challenging. Exactly what Michael's thinking right now. 
<laughs> Amen, sister. <laughs> you get to the point that you can read each other's minds, finish each other's sentences. I'm sure Patty and John can do a, a wonderful job. They've got a long history with each other. Partners for life. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to take back my seat and give you back Michael here in just a minute, so stay tuned. Wish I knew how to control all these buttons. I'd put something fun on for you, but until then, we'll be right back. I did. All righty, stay tuned. Okay, I think we are back here. We'll, we'll get Michael back in his rightful seat and get Grace under fire. <laughs> Thank you, darling. For hey, Patty. Hi, Patty. Patty. Welcome. Hi, I was going to say, you know, Michael just should, she should just review that board. Again, because I doubt anybody okay. remembers it. Do we have anybody dial in yet? Yeah, Patty's with us. Hey, Patty. Good to Hi. have you here. Let me get she, plugged in. I've got you. She said that, that you could probably do that board again because she doubts if anybody would remember it all. <laughs> there is that, isn't it? Well, it is yeah, well, possible. Yeah, there's an option to... as to what you want to bid on that board. I that know. Is. I know. That was kind of an interesting one. I'm going to go ahead and put that up there when I'm finishing off what I need to do. So... Let's see, I get, need to go to the course error drive and um, to the file. And um, what do you think about that while well, I'm doing well, that? I was so what say, would you do with it, the south hand? It depends on my mood. <laughs> That's exactly. A it's a, it depends. I love say, people who say it depends. Yeah. You are very nuanced. It depends, yeah. That's a good answer. I, I, I would be tempted to say one no and then it go pass, pass, pass. And they can take all their diamonds. And I'll get the rest of the trick. Now, was this a hand that, um, because of the amount of points or something that were counted, you could do start with the three no trump? No, you don't start it? with a three no trump. But the cr bids are, I suppose, one no trump with a singleton. All that kind of feels weird. A double, in which case I you know. wonder if your partner will bid diamonds. And then do you have enough points, 17 or more points, to say, well, okay, now I'm going to bid clubs. Or um, will you hope that your partner, if you make a double, that they will bid the heart suit with a hundred honors in the suit? So it's I kind of a, there's, remember. there's no great answer yeah. to this. A lot of people bid two clubs and the auction passes out. So yeah. um, that is one option. It gets um, an average board. That's okay, you know. And um, a lot of advanced players say, well, if I have a singleton in a minor. I'm assuming if my partner has a four card major, hearts or spades, and we have three spades, so if we have a seven card fit, worse could happen, but we don't want to just sell out with this many points. So I did the double, and I hoped that my partner would bid a major, and they bid hearts. So we ended up playing in two hearts, and we get about the same number of tricks in hearts as we do in clubs. So it turns out in a match point game, you're happy when you can get that 4-4 um, four, four fit in the major suit. But there isn't a lot of guarantees. And so, um, Grace, would you say this qualifies for making a chutzpah bid? Um, probably not if you want your partner to like you after the game. <laughs> well, there you go. That's her uh, thought on good it answer, there. Good answer, good answer. Um, yeah, and if your, if your partner happens to be a robot, they're still going to love you in the morning. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> good. Well, I think hopefully I have the hands over there. Let's see what happens if I load them up again. And I'm going to go back to the 16th. And we're going to see what we've got this time. And if not, like you say, we'll just go ahead and just play these a hand. 
yeah, it looks like I still got the same hands there. So I, maybe I went too quick, but we're just going to go through what we've got here today. And um, so in the south hand, recall that that was um, where after one spade, gosh, better go over these again. Let's see if that works. Okay, a pass, a one spade, and I chose to do a double and hope if my partner bids diamonds, I'm just going to pass. And then with west, um, there was a pass. And fortunately, my partner did have hearts. You know, if they had five diamonds and four hearts, still should bid the hearts. So they went two hearts, um, and I said, I'll pass. Um, some people went to three or four hearts, but I'm not going to because if my partner bids two hearts, that says they have zero to seven or maybe a bad eight, you know, with a side suit, jack third or something like that. And um, to kind of get us moving on a little bit, um, I think we did just fine with the play. I'll just go ahead and go through that, Patty, and then we'll take a look at some others. So that was the heart. They led a trump, and when they lead a trump, to me, that is like they've got something to hide. Well, they've got 11, 12 points or more to open. So, okay, I think they probably got the ace of diamonds behind the king. It'd be nice to end play it, but I doubt I can. So the club up to the king and a club back. And I'm going to rough a club, hoping they're 3-3. Three, three. Phew, they were. I did play the 9, by the way. I didn't play the 4 or 5. I didn't want them to easily over rough. As you can see, the... Um, oops, I should show both hands here. I'm going to show all four. You can see that there was a 7 of hearts over by the east. So, okay, now we're doing a heart, and we're happy that we have 100 honors in that heart suit in our hand. That's another. They came back again. Fine. Okay, we can play our two clubs do some pitching on the diamonds ultimately though i'm going to have to lose a couple spades and uh, because the ace of diamonds behind my king no way to end play it so okay so that's good um two hearts making three very happy with that um did you have anything to say about that one patty are you with us still patty? yeah Oh, yeah, I'm listening. I'm, oh, okay. I've got my phone on speaker. That's fine. So, um, yeah, so that that was a good know, board. I didn't know what your question, what was your question? Oh, just, um, I didn't understand. Just basically, I think, is that the, the, the line of play was fine. For those who play in two clubs, that's fine. You know, they, I could see where South would want to say, I got ace 10 five times, two clubs, and, and that's still around an average board. But so this the, time, we get a better board. The double, to, the double, though, is an off-shape double. It was exactly an off-shape double. And so let's take a closer look and see, is it maybe arguably okay? I have seven and four and four and maybe one distribution. I don't know about ace, ten, five times. So um, let's see, 11 and five. Hmm. 16. Can you, can you review? do a off shape double with 17. A lot of people do it with, yeah, 16. You don't need 17. I would say you have to use some advanced hand evaluation. We don't know about this club suit, but we do know about the heart suit. And that 10 of hearts has got to be worth something. So I thought, you know, this is one of those hands. I'll do a little bit of the risk. I'm doing what I consider advanced hand evaluation. Your mileage may vary. It's not going to work all the time. If it works 51% of the time, I'm okay. But if you have no hoot spa and don't want to take a chance on this, you're thinking your partner's going to bid diamonds, and um, then what are you going to do? If they bid three diamonds, by the way, after their past hand, then I'm going to go three no trump. I'm going to say, okay, we're, we're good to go. I think they've got some values, and we can maybe promote my club suit now. Um, or they've got six diamonds or something. And if we're six one, I'm okay with that. So those are some of the things to consider. And with that, we'll go on with the next hand. So, okay. There we go. Deal, low deal, and um, number. Oh, I see what's going on. I've got two number ones and two number fours. So maybe I did have the other hand after all. I... Hey, we've got it, ladies and gentlemen. The code has been cracked. Gosh, this was like I was sweating. Ooh. I thought I could have sworn I copied him. Over K, once again. <laughs> oh, now it's on. Now what it's okay. To the now we got the real deal. What happened on our day three? Okay, so North 
is going to pass um, with a five, three, three, two, nice diamonds, king, queen, ten, five times over in the east. They are passing in the south. Patty, what do you want to bid with your south hand here? Okay, I'm the last one to bid, correct? Yes. Well, you're in third seat anyway. We'll put it that way. Oh, oh, I'm in third seat. Okay. Yeah. Then that case, uh, I'm going to bid. I have some three aces, you know, 12, 13, 14. I have 16 points. I'm not going to count the queen of clubs, although if I had fewer points, I would. Um, I, th I think it would be okay to count queen. I wouldn't give it too much weight, though, but uh, it's not good. I would say... Um, I'll offset because, geez, I like this double tennises on the heart suit. I have two chances to finesse, not one, but two. And I also have a chance to finesse. So I, I would say even the queen double ten isn't the best. I'll, I'll give it full values myself. But if you don't want to, go ahead. And so what do you want no, to no, bid? No, no, I meant the queen of clubs. I meant the queen of clubs. Oh, I, I count the queen of clubs. I'm, that's what I meant to say. I would count the queen of clubs. Okay. Not a singleton. Okay. With a singleton, I'll just give it one point. But with a queen X, I will give it two. Unless the okay, opponents bid the suit. Enough. If the opponents bid the suit, I won't. <laughs> no bid so far. Right. So that's quite a few points you got there. I've got there. Yeah, like 19, right? Yeah, but I'm not going to, I'm not tempted to open to no Trump. No, no, I don't think so. So I will open one diamond. Beautiful bid. Uh, West says, nothing to see here. I pass back to north. Okay, you're... I went one diamond. What do you want to bid? You want to bid one no trump or two diamonds or three diamonds? Uh, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think you have to bid one no Trump because you have enough points to bid one no Trump. Yeah, I think so. One no Trump is um, a perfect bid. Even if you've got a singleton in spade, I know it hurts for a little bit. But um, yeah, I think that um, in this case with a five, three, three, two, one no Trump was a great bid. But my partner didn't bid that. My partner bid three diamonds. I can well, do that's better. a lie. Three diamonds. Yeah, I can do better. To me, you say, well, wait a second. Two diamonds as a past hand would just say you have six to nine. Two diamonds after I do my one diamond would say six to nine points. And obviously no four card major, right? They didn't show a major. But if it goes one diamond, three diamonds, I think that's more than nine. I think that's 10 or 11. It's invitational. What do you think as, a, as your partner being a past hand? When... Uh... <clears throat> You mean, uh, I was not a past hand. Well, you mean if... If north now, the north is a past hand. We're saying that for north's bid, you know, they passed, okay, so and now they heard right. you in south bid one diamond, and I'm now in the yeah, north hand. Is mean, What would three diamonds be for me? That means long diamonds and zero to uh, five points. Okay, so you play that as weak, even though you're a past hand. I would play. Oh, oh. I would play it as though it's invitational. Oh. If I'm so weak, I'll, if, if I'm weak, I'm just gonna pass. Sorry, <laughs> I'll bid my diamonds later. So to me, two diamonds says I have a sign off. I have six to nine. I have no four card major partner. And if I do three diamonds, I say, you know, I have some interest in three no trump partner. So that's the okay. way I think it should be. I think that's the way most people play is a jump to three diamonds shows 10 to 11 invitational values. But it could vary, and it sure did with my robot partner. It went pass, pass, one diamond, and my partner did three diamonds with this hand. And I was like, well, I better take my mouse and hover over their bid to see what it means. And what did they say it means? This is using the Ginsburg Intelligent Bridge on Bridge Base Online. Doesn't mean other robots have the same algorithms, but it says, um, Michael, um, it's five to nine high card points. And, uh, oh, I'm just going to take that back. Five to nine 
total points, which includes distribution. It's like, why would you be programmed for that way? I don't think you should. Just bid two diamonds if you have five to nine points. What are you doing? So anyway, the point yeah. was I was glad I looked to see what the robot's interpretation of the bid was. Uh, I think they should have bid no, one no trump like you did, Patty, but that isn't what they did. And I'm hover your mouse and see what's yep. going on. So based upon okay. that analysis from the robot, your partner is doing three diamonds with five to nine total points, not high card. That's including their length points. Oh. Are you going to do three no trump, four or five diamonds or pass? Well, you don't know about the clubs. Don't know about so. the clubs. You can't say three no with that response. Yeah, you don't like that Queen Doubleton, do you? No, and I don't know where the kings are. The king with A's or the king of hearts, so I can't say five diamonds. Yeah, so you're going to probably pass. Yeah. Yeah. I want to think that I went three no trump with the hoot spa bid. Three diamonds. Yeah, because you have nineteen points. Yeah, I know you have nineteen points. Nineteen points. I'm just, I'm just hoping my partner has got um, a king or a queen or jack third of clubs or something. I'm just hoping that that's what they've got. But um, you know, I am definitely rolling the dice again on this one. And okay. so um, let's take a look and see what they lead. They led a heart. Um, I'm going to show all four hands. They let a heart fourth away from the jack. I don't like that lead. I don't like leading away. And in south, you know, you've shown 19 points if you're going three no trump because they're showing a kind of a weak hand. So, you know, at least 17, 18. I would not lead away from jack fourth. I don't like to lead away from a jack. No, you've got to say that. Yeah, too. I'm either going to lead the five of clubs or the ace of clubs and hope I can unblock. If you lead the ace of clubs, you're the hero. You're going to take the first five tricks, aren't you? Right. Ace smothers the, or Ace gets the six, and if you continue on with the suit, if your partner shows encouragement, you play the king, and then you get to the other hand because you see Jack Doubleton on the board, the north hand. So, uh, but no, they led the way from the Jack, and I'm like, you know what I did then? I took a breath. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And at this point, I can play my Ace of Diamonds, my Jack of Diamonds. I'm unblocking the diamonds to the north hand. I'm throwing away a club or excuse me a spade there yeah. and now i do the spade finesse for some reason at this point right here yeah after taking that last diamond some people let a heart now they've they've let a heart i'm expecting they have the jack or why did they lead fourth best so i am not going to play mm -hmm. the heart but some people went down you got the gift and you didn't take it you know you looked the gifted horse in the mouth and you didn't take it so mm -hmm. i led the spade to the queen and fortunately the king of spades is on side i think if they would have had the king fourth or something i think they would have led away from the spade you know it's a primary honor you want to lead a suit with a primary honor the the robot didn't do that so okay we got the finesse and we've got the heart and um we can now turn it over to them and we've made our nine tricks. So this was a tough doggone hand. I think our bid in the south, I think one diamonds is perfect. Not quite enough for two no trump. And the north hand, I agree with you. We should have gone one no trump. Now with south with 19, I'm definitely going to go three no trump. But I don't like the mm -hmm. three diamond bid myself. I think you should do that with 10 to 11 points and invitational mm -hmm. values. Okay. So it's, I think it's a good lesson in that hand. And um, if you and mm -hmm. your partner, you play inverted minors, fine. But once your partner's a pass hand, inverted minors are off. So, okay, we are gonna go to the next hand. And Patty, I hope I can get the right one here. There's two sets of them. And I see one says 939 and the other says 1014. And that was the one I just did. So I know that we've got the right one this time. That's my story, Grace, and I'm sticking to okay. it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Onward and upward. I'm going to let everybody see all four hands here and see what we can do here. So now it's up to the east to bid. And oh my goodness, what a distributional hand they have. A 6421. What are you going to bid with the east hand there, Patty? Yeah, it's a nice hand. 
Um, well, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven losers, so you have to open. And you're going to open. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes, but somehow. Okay. Oh, this is. I'm sorry. My my bad. This is one, two, three. I was thinking this is our second hand. This is hand four, so West is the dealer. So it's very distributional too. My bad. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hearts to the ace, queen, ten. Seven, three, two, one. Yeah. I know what we do in the yeah. um, east hand. I was drooling over playing the east hand myself. But now the west hand is going to oh. open three hearts, I think. What do you think? Um, well, as I said, there are seven losers, uh, if you count all the cards. And, yes, you, you can open. Um, if you don't open three hearts, you're, you're just going to be climbing up the ladder, and they're going to bid their suit. So, yeah. Yeah, you want to make a preemptive, especially in first seat. Vulnerable versus not. I think um, they're all vulnerable in this hand. But, um, okay, so over to north. North is going to say nothing to see here. Pass. And over to the um, east. Boy, you're going to go four hearts, yeah. right? Yeah. No. No, you're not going to go four you're hearts? Gonna go, you're going to go spades. Well, you want to bid spades. Wow, you know you've got a nine-card oh, fit, oh, oh. partner. Come on, Patty. They've got... Uh, one, Seven oh, hearts, and you've got two. Why do you want to show your spades? Yeah, you're doing a Michael's bid. Yeah. No, just, yeah, you, you just want to just a law of total tricks and just say, you, you know, did, we've did. got yeah. nine in Trump. That's fine. Nobody cares about my spades. Don't don't right. disclose it. It might it might somehow help the opponents. <laughs> so um, yeah. we're in South now. No, I get it. In South, um what are you going to do with the south hand? <laughs> you heard three hearts, no, four hearts, can, and look at your hand. You can do a Marty Bergen. You can do a Marty Bergen five diamond bid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. How do you feel about your heart suit, knowing that there's three hearts bid by the person over to your left? Do you think you're going to get any tricks in hearts? Right off your uh, heart. Well, you don't want to double. Yeah, you don't want to double uh, the four heart bid. Um, no. Although you know, yeah, but you know what they're saying. Yeah, so. if, you, if you double your partner, might go four spades. That wouldn't be so good. Anyway, yeah. so you have so to. I, I see. I see what's going on. I see what's going on now. Um, I don't think. Oh, absolutely. Well, yeah, you can't double. You just have to pass. The just have to you're pass. Vulnerable and what you see. Yeah, and then set them. That's right. Mm -hmm. Pass and set, and that was my strategy. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah. Um, so my yeah. partner's on the lead. My partner leads the fourth best club to my single ten ace. Thank you very much. And man, I gotta say, is you, you gotta play this one well because you know setting them one may not be a good board. Setting them two may be an average. I want to set them three or so if I can. So I'm looking no at the kidding. dummy, and I'm thinking, yeah. man, um, what do I want to play? What do I want to? I don't yeah. really want to play spades. That's for sure. Yeah. They've either got the queen or my partner's got the, the queen. Because they may be out. Yeah, you can't play the diamonds. You can't play the spades. You don't have any more clubs. Ergo, you, you play heart. <laughs> we're gonna play. We're gonna play a heart. Look at our hearts. King well, Jack Nine. If we play a heart. I know that they don't have the king jack nine, and I know they got to figure out which one of those hearts does my partner have. So I'm going to give them a guess. It's always good to give the opponents a tough guess. So I'm going to lead a two of hearts, and they go up with the ace, and I say, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> they didn't know which one to play. Yeah. So that was what I was hoping for, and my wish came true. Do you understand why we want to give the opponents a guess? Yep. Yeah. So, okay, we'll we'll watch from here on. I've asked you so many questions yeah. already. So they play a spade. Mm -hmm. I win it with the ace. Yeah. And, and wait, by the way, mm -hmm. I should say they played a spade. They had to guess which spade to play. When you're missing an ace and a queen, I don't know if you get it right more than 50% of the time. I doubt I do unless I get some table feel. But they guessed wrong. So, uh -huh. okay, um, I could just come back with a spade or I could play another heart and I could get rid of their last heart yeah. so they don't get to rough some diamonds. And that's why I did. I smothered that heart on the board. And now I play yeah. a diamond, let them have their ace. They play a queen of clubs and I 
could rough, but no, I'm going to pitch a spade. And I, I don't see that they've got the jack of clubs. So they play another club. I pitch a diamond and my partner wins the jack. That's a big trick. Yeah. There's another yeah. 100 points for us. And now they play a spade. I'm just pitching diamonds. They come in with the heart and mm -hmm. um, I've got mm -hmm. them tennised. Mm -hmm. They've got the queen 10, but I've got the jack nine. And oh, I've got that diamond mm -hmm. also. So they get their queen. I get my jack. I play my king. And we set them by three tricks. And um, that wow, makes me cute. happy because we're going to take a look now. Mm -hmm. And I think that we should be able to go over here and go into the 16th and go to open up this hand. And yeah, um, yeah there it is. So we're looking at hand number four. And indeed, four hearts down three, 300 gets us a 95%. So somebody actually did bid and make five diamonds. That was a kind of a fluke. Most people are going down one or two in diamonds, but um, somebody got lucky. But anyway, so yeah, we're getting 95%. And a lot of people set them two, and some people set them one. And some people, sadly, with our hand in the south, we'll look at it again. They doubled uh -huh. after hearing four hearts. They doubled. And a person over in the robot in the north says, well, I think that's a takeout. I'll do four spades. It went four spades, oh. down five, that's down deep. six. So that was that's not so good. Yeah, and and yeah. over in um, East, humans would double that. It would be, oh, like 1,100, 1,400, 1,700. It would not be pretty. Okay, so we're ready to go on to the next hand. And what is our next hand? Um, I'm going to have to take a look here for a second. Oh, I can see right here with the next hand. Hand number six. Six. And how are we doing on time? We got a little bit of a late start, We're going to so give a little about, extra time there, honey. Yeah, about so, halfway through. Yeah. I'm here, John. I hear John in the garage now, so he must be back. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, the natives are restless yeah. there, right? Okay, so number six, East is the dealer. And that is going to be, um, let's see, they've got six points. Um, gosh, a singleton queen. I'll give that one point. A singleton jack, I give no points. And a queen five times, only two points. No, I, I'm not going to bid with this hand. Sorry, that's a pass. Not even tempted. Okay, so in the south, Patty, what do you like about this hand? Seven <laughs> high and another two distribution. There's nine points there. Three points on the clubs uh, and well, not and that's it. Well, high card points. Yeah, so I'm gonna give there it twelve high points. I'm gonna get twelve high card yeah. points, but I really like my ace king six times. That ace king is a great combination yeah. with a six card suit. So yeah. yeah. Is it a semi self sustaining suit, I ask you? Well, you should be saying what's our honors? Yeah. We, two honors plus six long. No, eight is not enough. Um, a semi self sustaining yeah. suit should have nine or more. So now we can see that we can have two losers in the hand. So okay, just wondering, just one heart. Yeah. And over to the west, west says um, no bid. Partner in the north right. says I'm going to bid one spot or maybe you just want to forget it and just bid the, the mm -hmm. hearts. You want to do the spades uh -huh. or the one or two hearts? Oh, well, There's let's your... see. I have John sitting next to me here now, so he's going to nudge. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, I would say one spade. One spade? Okay. Hello? I think that's yeah. fine. There's There's two styles on this. A pass, yeah. and um, I would say I'm going to rebid my hearts two hearts. Now what and are you then I do? can go four hearts. Four hearts. Four hearts. Yeah. Okay. It might be a little optimistic, but you've got um, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, I, it's not optimistic. I would do four hearts with that. Well, guess what? The auction didn't turn out that way. Would uh, you believe that the robot started with one spade? I don't like it. Mm. I can see nine oh, points, maybe one distribution, which I'm kind of wondering. Not the, the, 
But they can't cover the boom. Yeah, you're covered up there. Sorry, Patty. Go ahead. You're Ma covered. Uncover the board. Oh, uncover the board. That's what we're saying. Okay. Yes. So I don't think that they should open one spade, which which to me looks like it's worth nine or ten points. But they gave full values for a singleton queen and a tripleton jack, and I think that was. They need to reprogram that computer for that. So anyway, after one, after you hear one spade, I guess some yeah. people will do two hearts. I yeah. went three hearts. I rolled the dice um, just to see uh -huh. if maybe I could get by with a preempt. I assume they might have a big spade fit. I wanted to give them a guess. But whether I go two hearts or three hearts, the robot goes four hearts at least with three hearts would i bid a risky bid so okay so we're going to be playing that auction so um we are in hearts and the opening lead is going to be mm -hmm. by the west and i don't know what you would lead with that but i hope it would be the four of spades top of a double tent yeah that's what they did i go up with the king and um, i'm saying oh okay there's five spades in the north and five spades in the west. Okay, so I have a single time. I'm assuming that's going to be a high-low and not that my righty has a six-card suit. So, okay, I need a plan. I'd like to uh, get those trump out. So I'm missing the queen, the jack, and two others. I've got a nine-card suit. Will they be 2-2? Two -two? Well, I'm going to do the Ace of Clubs first, another club, and um, I'm going to rough a club, but I'm not going to rough low. I'm going to go up with the 10, and that was kind of arguable whether that was the best line of play, but that was my strategy. So now I don't have the 10 either, but um, okay, I'm going to do a Ace of Spades, and I'm going to pitch a Diamond, and now I'm going to do a Diamond Loser, let them in, Loser on Loser. And now they do the queen of spades. And I play not my little heart, but the eight or the nine. They win with the jack. And they come back with the heart. Thank you for coming back with the jack. I wasn't sure where the queen was. And I can now go ahead and get the rest of the tricks. And so we do mm, make our 10 tricks. Yeah. So um, I guess that um, you would think that might be a pretty average board, but it wasn't. Let's go ahead and take a look at number six. Patty, you were going to say something? I was going to ask him if he could review how he played that, because John had to step out. Oh, no. For, no. Uh, I'll, I'll go over it quickly. But basically is that we can see that there was not that many people that made the over trick in hearts. There was only four of us. Um, there were about ten of them that did make their game, um, didn't get the over trick. And then there were some that um, only were in three hearts, quite a few in three hearts, and some in four hearts went down. So the play was the thing. Uh, you wanted to try to get the over trick, and so let's take a look at that again. Yeah. The problem is this. The problem is your club suit. If you start pulling Trump quickly, then what are you going to do with those club losers? You think you're going to get a lot of pitches when you don't have any entries to the other hand? Because you got to play clubs to... So, yeah, you're not going to be able to promote this suit because you don't have the queen, so they're going to get in. So if you don't do a club rough, you're not going to be getting the over trick is basically what it boils down. So we're going to watch the line of play. It's the spade. Looks like a doubleton because we know that we've heard with one spade in the east that they've got five. Okay, so the ace of clubs, a club and a club rough. Um, I guess I might have tried a lower heart that was kind of, I wasn't sure if I should go up with a 10. In retrospect, I guess with a 4-2, that means if we have six, they have seven. I should, except most of the time they're going to be 4-3. It's not going to be a 5-2. So I think maybe it would have been better if I would have played the 6 of hearts. But at any rate, it didn't turn out it mattered. I then played the ace, hoping it was a doubleton. And then I played a diamond, let them come in. 
And um, once I get in, they over me there, but nothing I can do about that. Once I get in and they help me there, I can now rough a club. And um, it turned out mm. that um, my six was above the remaining two. So that was about it. So that's how we get an over trick. And that was how you get the good board. All right, let's go on to the next hand. Hand number nine. <clears throat> and there it is. Okay, and hand number nine, north will be the dealer. Four, eight, nine, and 11, 12, 13 is what I count. I don't count my jack thirds, but if you do with a jack nine, that's pretty close. So at any rate, you're going to open it one diamond, correct? And the south? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yes. yes, one diamond in the south. Yeah, one diamond. Um, or is it one no trump? Yes. I'm looking at the north hand, but actually board number okay. nine. Oh, I'm sorry. Is, okay, board number nine is north. east is the dealer. My, my bad. So let's look okay. at the east. Is um, We've got um, four plus maybe one distribution. I like the ace anyway. And in hearts, we've got another four. And that's it. No, not enough to open. Five, four, two, two. It's a pass. And to the south now. Yes, Patty. How many points do you have? One diamond. One diamond. I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So since we're since we're counting the queen eight as two points, I have fourteen. You count the queen. Over to the east hand, west hand, it's a pass. Over to the north hand. Um, the north hand is uh, two diamonds, uh, convert, inverted minor. Okay. What what uh, would be another bid you could make? Uh, another bid would be... Um, Three no trump. Oh, absolutely, because one diamond is promising 11 to 13 points. Yeah, if, uh, if, you if your jump. spades were worse, I'd say maybe, yeah, two diamonds, inverted minors, but um, I, I would think three, no trump. Well, it just depends on whose hand it plays better from. I don't know. True. Because, you know, the clubs are better and the, the clubs are better in the, in the south. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see how this goes on. So um, it turned out that um, South had opened one no trump and North said um, three no trump or whichever way it worked. If it's one diamond, two diamonds, and then South bids two no trump, it turned out it was the opening lead was coming from this side. And the reason being was um, going back to trick one, there's one other thing I didn't mm. tell you is that... Um, Somebody bid one spade. Hmm. Yeah, so that queen of spade lead is, is important. That's yeah, so it was, an interesting it, lead. It turned out it was north. If north is doing the first bid, one diamond, then they will do one spade. And then south now is like, well, you'll go three, no trump. You see the difference it makes? Yeah. So if North starts, they're going to do one diamond, and then then there yeah. will be an overcall. So they won't open it, but they will overcall the suit. So yeah. if it turns out that they had the first bid, they would pass, and then it would be kind of like what you said, one diamond and then three no trump you would play. But if it turns out that my yeah. partner bids the diamond and then it goes one spade, then I will do three no with king third. Very right. interesting, isn't it? The different ways that um, you play from one hand or the other. So right, because you can lose that king of spades if, if it comes yeah, from me. Yeah. So and then if it if if you're in the west and you hear your partner bids one spade and you don't have a lot of entries, you don't have suits to promote, you're happy to unblock with the queen. So they led the queen. 
hoping to drive out a stopper. And um, I'm like, well, wow, thank you. I'm, I'm glad that the ace wasn't behind my king. No guess there. And I was able to capture the queen with it. I'm just like doubly happy with that. Now, I've got the jack doubleton in spades. And yeah. that's, yeah, I, I feel good, good when they've got the yeah, ace 10, yeah. except now it comes the, how do you want to play the hand? I'm sorry, what were you saying, John? Yeah. Your West is the dangerous opponent, so you don't want him on lead ever again. I want you to say that very loudly. West is the dangerous opponent. If a spade lead, uh, you lose about four or five tricks right right there. Uh, with that two, it becomes back with the two of spades. So you can't let him back in. You, you, if this you're gonna finesse, is, you got to finesse the other way. Put east on the uh, lead. This is the key point that John just said. The dangerous opponent happens to be west because if they play again, our jack nine aren't looking so hot. Did you want to take the cloak off? Um, yes. If they can get in again then there's a problem. So putting the cloaking back on north and north and south, there it is, is that, but look at my finesses. I would like to have the finesses go this way since this is the DO, the dangerous, oops, excuse me, you can't see that. Since the dangerous opponent is over here, I want to play the finesses so that east gets in. But that is not the way the finesses are going to work. I can't uh -huh. finesse to the hearts because the dangerous opponent, if they've got the king, that won't work. Uh, if I try doing it on the club, same thing. That's not going to work. I don't have any finesses that I can take the way I want to. So, okay, um, i got to get nine tricks. Huh? Well, I've got four in diamonds. I've got two in clubs. And I've got one in got hearts, it. and I've got my one spade. So I've got, I think, is it seven? Eight. Let's count them up again. In diamonds. Eight. But got eight. Four. In clubs. I've got two. In spades. I've just got my one. Uh, I'm sorry. In clubs, I've got two. I, I said four. What's that? Get get rid of that. That's a two. Four, five, six. And, um, hmm. The rest I've got to do it the old-fashioned way on the rounded suits. I've got to earn it, don't I? <laughs> so I've got to get another two tricks, and I should be able to get one on the finesse. But um, at any rate, here's the way I play it. And um, I guess with my righty overcalling one spade, I'm kind of wondering is that um, do they have some... Have some points do they have some goodies? Do they have some of these hearts? Because if they have a heart, um, you know, do I finesse to the 10? Or do I maybe try to end play them so they've got to play the heart? So that's kind of my suit, my strategy. I'm, I'm not real fond of the way this one's turned out, but here's the way it played. Now you can kind of see some of the things that can go wrong. Let's look at all four hands and maybe we get a little bit of luck here. So, okay, we've won that. Yeah, let's go ahead and play the diamonds and make them. I'm not saying I'm going to squeeze them a lot with 4-4, four four, but I just want to see the way the suits are breaking. And so they both played twice. Somebody's got one left. Okay, there was a 8 of diamonds. Is that 9 encouraging? I don't know, but I've got the 8 of hearts. I'm, I'm kind of happy that that's one I don't have to worry about. So... At any rate, um, now at this point, I'm playing the King of Diamonds, and um, okay, I'm going to have to finesse to the dangerous opponent. And so I play a club to the jack, and uh-oh, the dangerous opponent is in. And what do dangerous opponents do? <laughs> they, they catch you. So they played the, I, we played the 9 to the 10. They take the ace, they smother the jack, and they get another spade. And, but look where it left them. This is what we call yeah. the proverbial end play. They did have the king. So if you want to play the king or not, I'm quite happy. They played the king. <laughs> I don't know what they were hoping for. Maybe that maybe they could get to their partner's mm -hmm. hand. We win the ace. We come back with the heart. And we've got to win our promoted club. So we made our nine tricks. Some of you might say, um, 
Michael, could you have instead of finessing in the club suit, could you have instead finessed in the heart suit if they have the king? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, well, yeah. E either way, you know, if, if, it have, if it turns out that they've got the king of hearts over here, rather than the queen of clubs, it's a mock snicks, I think, as the Germans would say, either way. So it was an interesting hand, but um, the most important part is um, how did it turn out? And this is hand number nine. And the hearts, they have more hearts than you do, so it doesn't make sense to do that. Hard, hard to say. When, when they played that nine of hearts, at least that made me a little bit feel better because I was had so many tennises. But as it turns out, as you can see, that one person lucked out with a 430, but we have um, a handful that were in 400, so we're getting our 90%. We're happy with that. And um, then there are some that stopped and won no trump. We'll get to them. Some in three and two diamonds, and then there is quite a few of them, maybe about 10, that are in three, no trump going down one or two, and God forbid somebody's in five clubs. But let's go back to um, playing in one no trump. So it goes one diamond, one spade, and we've got, remember we said five and three and four and two, how could you only bid one no trump with this hand? I just don't know. But at any rate, some people, they stopped and won no trump. But you, you don't want to do that. When your partner opens and you have an opening hand, you, the one who knows goes. You should be in three no trump. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So now we're going to the one board that um, Grace said, um, you know, blame the, uh, the partner. <laughs> the one board that, um, what in the heck happened here, partner? How do we end up doing this? Well, let's take a look. Okay, so um, do I have it written down here? Yes, I do. So um, eight, nine, ten, the opening starts with east, I do believe. And they have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's going to be a pass. And in the south, we've got four, five, six, seven, plus one distribution for that fifth. And we've got another four. So Hmm. Rule of 20. Rule of 20, she says. and um, That's the one. That's uh, the three no trump. Yeah, some people say, oh, I've only yeah, got 11 only points. 11 points. I don't open 11 point hands. But no, you've got ace king five times. If you had like jack five times or queen five times, I would say not. But uh, no, this is a really good heart suit. So you want to count it for 10 points. But there's a lot of people that didn't. So we're doing one heart. And, you know, back even in the like 30s and the 40s, 1930s, 1940s, they would say when you've got a good three quick tricks open and you have with the touching ace king. So I would say even back in the olden days, they would open this one heart. And then over by the east, they're um, ornery, obstinate, and um, they are going to bid three clubs. Okay. And over to north. Um, well, let's see. What are you going to do there, partner? Um, well, you've got the diamonds and you've got the spades. So it's a negative double. It says, partner, I've got diamonds yeah. and I've got spades. You so got point. 10 points. Fine. And you like you got the ace of clubs in their bid suit, too. So, all right. So um, will they do four clubs over on the other hand? Um, no, they're passing. And up to the south, well, now comes the question. Do we bid yeah. three spades or do we bid four spades? Oh. Yeah, this is Double. like, man, now we got our thinking cap on. My partner have three hearts? No, my partner doesn't have three hearts. They wouldn't have made a negative double. My partners should have four spades. and My partner's got diamonds. Well, I took the low road. I went three spades and not four. Um, it could be we make four. I don't really know. But um, in terms of my losers, I've got one, two, three, four in the minor suits. Don't know about hearts and probably one there. So I don't know. I might have two there. I just, I'm not really sure. And we've certainly only got two winners in the hearts. 
So I, I did three <laughs> spades, but um, I'm not sure if I've done the right thing or not. What were you saying, Patty? I said that you only opened with the rule of 20, so you are you have to diminish your hand a little bit. Yeah, my hand hasn't gone up a lot by the double. My partner could have just 10 points. I don't know. And it turns out they do have 10 points. Let's look at the north-south. But after I bid three spades, my partner can go four spades. They should um, e reevaluate their hand. And if you've heard me do three spades, what do you think with the north hand? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Everything seems to be working. I've got a queen fourth in spades. And um, my queen of hearts, it's not a bad. That's my partner's bid suit. I'm glad it's a nice honor. So it's kind of a, it, we don't know. There's there's no right answer, I don't think, unless you've got one. I'm not well, really sure. If your partner, if your partner has the ace king of spades, that would be really nice. Yeah. <laughs> so I stopped with three spades for better or worse, and here's what happened. Okay, the lead was the ace of diamonds, unprotected ace, um, but um, ace doubleton. The ace jack is ace I'm jack third is worse something, but ace jacks are no better than ace doubleton most of the time, unless your partner has the king. So okay, they do that and played another one. I go up with the queen. They win with the king, and um, they go in with a, another diamond. And do I play a um, a rough? No. I pitch a club. I only want one club. I want to do a loser on loser. This is important play here. Don't play uh -huh. a trump. Mm. Now, okay. So they've won with the five. Okay. I still don't know that they're four or one against me. But I know there's a lot of clubs mm -hmm. over in left because they jumped to three clubs. They should have seven. Okay, so they play mm -hmm. the king of clubs to my ace. They saw me pitch a club, and um, that was my last club. And now I play a spade. And some people make a bad play here. And I know John doesn't do this one, but some people, they'll start with the queen <laughs> yeah. of spades. And don't start with a high honor. They might be 4-1 against you like they were here. So I play a low spade. East goes up with a jack. That's questionable whether that was a good play. I go up with the ace, and as always, robots follow color. They play a club, and I think, oh, okay, so it's 4-1 against me. It's a 4-4-4-1 four, 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 suit. Remember, we had 4-4, four, four, and they got one rough, and now they're no longer following. So, oh, okay, I'm pretty happy I didn't go four spades. Now, the chances are one in four that it's four against you, 28%. One guy, I, I said, you know, it's a top pro. I said, oh, yeah, it's 4-1. Uh, it's 25%. He says, it's 28%. And I looked it up. No, it's 28.26% next time you want to talk about it. So anyway, one in four okay. chances. So, okay. So, um, yeah, I guess that i um, kind of happy I didn't go to four. I'll do my queen of hearts. Go ahead and um, play a diamond. Let them cover. I can rough. Uh, ace of hearts. Another heart another heart and um, they're roughing and they play a two and we've got one I play one they get their king and so we have made eight tricks not nine yeah. but eight so some of the people let's take a look and see what happened um, I didn't get a 50 oops um, don't tell me I can't bring this in front now there we go okay so um, number 10, we had a 40%. And um, so some of the people are um, only in two hearts or um, one did make three spades. That was kind of a fluke. But at um, any rate, yeah, people are in hearts. And it's like, well, what happened with them? Well, they ended up... Um, Passing initially is what happened. Yeah, they didn't open with this rule of 20. And sometimes it doesn't work. It's not going to work every time. And so it went pass. And then over in West, believe it or not, they open one club. And like this is illogical. If I bid one heart, they do three clubs. But if it turns out that I pass, then they open one club. Well, why? if I bid one heart, why don't you bid two clubs if you think you have an opening hand. But at any rate, 
funny how the algorithms work, but if it turns out it goes um, pass in one club, then um, we're going to ultimately find our, our two heart fit and we're going to stop there. So do I feel like um, I misbid, Grace? I, I don't feel like I misbid at all. I think that's the correct bid. It just doesn't work every time. So we're going to finish with hand number 11 and um, see what we've got there. Low deal number 11. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to go ahead and mask these since it's our last hand. And 11 South is the dealer. Patty and or John, how do you feel about this hand? It blanked out, Michael. Oh, okay. Is it back? Yes. Yeah. All righty. So, uh, 14, 14 points. Uh, 15 if you count that uh, check. And yeah, that's the question. You count it? that check and start off with say 15, say one no Trump, but with that, yeah. No. Computer robots would say one no trump with that, so I'd go with that. Yeah, I, I'm not so sure about the check, but I'm giving myself eight points in spades. You know, I've got yeah. seven plus one. If it was a club suit, yeah. yeah some people will say, "Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with one spade, and it might work." It's it's a pretty much balanced hand. I don't like the jack third, but it is a jack, so it's either gonna be one spade or one no trump. And I'm thinking the better players are probably gonna do one no trump, and um, the other players will probably say, "Yeah, I'm gonna do one spade." But it, if you look at your honors, I'm just forget about what suits they are. In one suit, you've got an ace king, another you've got a king, another you've got an ace, another you've got a jack. And it's like, well, looks like a balanced hand to me if I don't know which card mm -hmm. is the master suit. So I opened mm -hmm. one no trump. And I think that you'll probably mm -hmm. find um, at the pro level, I'm not saying I'm a pro, but at the pro level, I think that's what you're going to find that people will do. Just something to think about. Won't work all the time. Okay, so it's a pass. And then my partner, um, hearing one no trump, um, they're going to say they got game values. They've got six okay. and another two and another maybe three plus one. We're not sure with king five times, but probably because I've opened one no trumps. So I think I would say, yeah, we've got enough to go to game. Sure. So they're going to do a transfer. Yeah. So if it was if it was one no okay. trump, then it's going to be to diamonds, which is a transfer, and over to east. <laughs> they do three clubs. Well, uh, we can't see east, Michael. Um, it, it maybe takes about five or seven seconds, but I'm showing them. It should pop up in just a couple yeah, of seconds. It, it's oh, a couple the seconds delay is maybe right. about five or ten seconds, so I apologize for that. Okay. No, do you no, see no, it now? That's okay. I, I, yeah, yeah, so they decide, yeah, we're going to compete. We're going to come in. They know that um, North has five or more hearts, and they do have the ace-queen of hearts. So they're like, yeah, yeah. I think we're going to go ahead and make it a little harder for you. So now back to South. Yeah. So South, you know, we've been asked to transfer. If we don't have three or four in the transfer suit, we can just pass if we want to. We can redouble if we think that, oh, we're going to nail them on their bid suit clubs. So those are two bids you should have in your repertoire. So after one no trump, two diamonds, which is a transfer, and then it was three clubs, then my bids would be three hearts equals three plus hearts. Redouble equals clubs slash penalty bid. Now, my partner might say, you know, I just really had a crummy hand, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and bid the hearts myself. So, you know, I'm, but I'm, that would be suggesting a penalty if I did a redouble. So in my case, I have three hearts. So I should be saying three hearts and my partner should know, oh, okay, um, I've got five, maybe more. And my partner has got, is showing three or four. So if I had five, I'll probably go to four hearts. But um, I am going to be rebidding three hearts and my partner is going to be saying four hearts. Do those um, bids make sense to you, Patty and John? 
I don't, I don't see where the redouble comes in because I don't see a double. No, um, if they had bid three clubs, it wouldn't be a redouble. Excuse me. I meant to say double. A double would say okay. um, penalty. My my apology. Okay. Yeah, a redouble if would be if it's that kind of they doubled the transfer suit, and if I did, we won't get into that. So okay, so right. at any rate, um, three hearts, four hearts is what it is. So um, now it has to do with the play, and I've got a feeling the play is pretty important here. So I want you to see how this goes. So West is going to make the opening lead, hearing that your partner bid clubs, and what do you think they are going to lead? I'm the singleton club. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> yeah, you wish it was a singleton, didn't you? <laughs> so they lead the five, um, top of doubleton. Um, I go up with the jack. They play the queen, and I win the ace. So the let's look at the covered. dummy at this point. So, all right, we need a plan. Well, we've got three, three in the diamonds. All the toppers there. We've got a club loser. And um, we've got a spade suit. If they're 3-2, this could be nice. But we've got this doggone heart suit, don't we? Yeah, mm -hmm. this... <laughs> I wish I had some like more intermediates, some more pushers. I wish I had the ten of hearts. I wish I had the queen of hearts. I yeah. wish I had the ace. I have a lot of wishing here. But I've got ace, jack, yeah. nine. Ugh. You know, you you want your but honors to work, but these honors are not working too well, are they? You might say, Michael, so you've got moth-eaten suits. Would sense. you agree that these suits? John was saying something. I couldn't hear him, honey. What did you say, John? Go ahead. Hey, I said, uh, if you just look at you have all the spades, you have all the diamonds, you have one club loser, and if you just push out the ace and the queen of hearts, and look at the ten falls also, um, that then you only have three losers total. You make your contract. Mm -hmm. So you got to kind of, but how do you push out the ace and the queen? And uh, well, well uh, that's a good ball. question. If you take a look at um, um, finesses on bridge hands, there um, has some rules and guides, but um, don't discount that nine of hearts. If you can finesse towards the nine of hearts, and the ten of hearts is to your left in west then you'll be happy that you finessed towards the nine. Um, the finessing towards the jack is not so hot unless it's the king and the queen, excuse me, the ace and the queen is held by e. So the better card is probably the nine. Now let's see if I did it that way, but that's just something I'd want you to consider and a little bit more um, advanced way on doing finesses. And let's see what Michael did here. So I played, I did, <laughs> okay, I say should have, I hoped I did. Yeah, I played the three, they went up with the eight. I don't know why they went up with the eight. I'm gonna show all four hands, but um, I think they should have played second hand low, but I was glad they went up with the eight. But I was gonna finesse towards the nine anyway. And um, so that was good that the nine was on side. They've won with the queen and I say, okay, um, I don't know how you, remember the cards, but I'm thinking I had um, three honors against me, ace, queen, ten, and there goes the queen. Thank you. And I know now that they don't have the ten also, correct? If they would have the ten, they would have played it. So it's right. ace, ten, ten, and the... But they don't have the ten. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's the ace, ten, and the ten is held by east. I can, by inference, I or what by west, excuse me, I know that west has the ten. Okay, let's see what they do. They play the king, and um, that's right, they get that one. They play the ace of hearts, and I'm like, oh, man, you made my life easy. Because <laughs> I know where the 10 is, but um, I guess they were didn't want to get a club rough. Because uh, if they continued on clubs, not so good. If they play a diamond, well, I've got the ace queen. They don't know that I have the king at all, do they? So they don't want to play the clubs or the diamonds. And the spades is like, no, they don't want to do a jack. Um, so anyway, that was what I was hoping for. And the rest, I think, should be history. There goes the queen of diamonds. And um, I am claiming at this point the rest of the tricks are mine. Um, I can do, don't, don't worry about my spades. This is play it from the dummy's perspective. The dummy has no losers. 
So, okay, let's see what happened on our last hand. This is hand number 11. Um, four hearts. There's surprisingly not that many people in four hearts. Oh, no, there are some down there. There are some four hearts down one. They obviously did not finesse to the nine of hearts there. And some are in four spades. Not sure how that happened. I guess, um, oh, I guess I do know how that happened. They opened one spade. And um, mm. they did not make it in the spade suit. So at any rate, that's a 88% um, board. Um, life is good. And so um, when it's all said and done, what happened here? There we go. 68.37 versus 69.07. So 7 tenths out of um, first. Good for you, the person who came in first. And of the 12 boards, we can see that um, the boards I showed you, um, 1, 4, 6, 9, and 11, were the ones where we had good results. And number 10 was the one, I won't worry about the middle board on number 2, but we had that 40%. That's not a bad board. I think um, our bidding was correct there to open with the rule of 20 and so on and so forth. So, um, Patty, you did very good today. Um, did you feel like there were some challenging hands? Yeah, and it's interesting to see how the uh, robots do bid and respond because I had a game yesterday, uh, Master Point game, where the robots went into three no trumps, and I set them by three and should not have. They just did not play the – they didn't run the space like they could have. I don't know why they did that. Yeah, you know, sometimes they um, – let me say this. There are some parts – that are um, algorithm based. You know, they have um, been programmed by a human that says, you know, here's the rules of rote. Use the rule of 20, you know, use the rule of 11, things like that. Just like humans are mostly programmed that way. But then there's a lot of them that are the CIA, the counts, inferences, and analysis. And what they'll do is they'll go through a simulation of hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of hands. You may have heard this about um, chess. You know, chess used to be that humans could beat computers, but eventually computers could run so many simulations, you know, many, many millions and billions within a matter of seconds that um, mm -hmm. they could do more calculation just by their brute force. And so this is what in some cases the bridge base online Ginsburg Intelligent Bridge will do with some hands where there's more complicated lines of play. And they may not always get it right. But hey, okay. next year's model, who knows? And just kind of segue on this to finish up is that here's the interesting deal is that um, the source code for GIB, Ginsburg Intelligent Bridge, which is what um, Fred Gittleman and company had purchased to make it part of the bridge base online. Um, they do maintenance of the code when they're, you know, sometimes the robots seem to make really bad bids or plays at the slam level. And they try to fix those. But some of these things like you're talking about when it's in three no Trump where there's a lot of decisions, it takes um, a lot of brain power and hours to kind of correct those. And in terms of maintenance of the code, I think they don't spend as much time on those patties. So if you can capitalize on those, where your robots are not as strong, just like when you're playing against somebody. Remember when I started this conversation today, I said playing against a um, somebody at another yeah. table and they come to your table and they've got like zero to 49 master points. They're right. probably not going to be making the leads as good as they should. You may think, well, right. should I be in three no Trump? Well, if they're like defending maybe one trick less than everybody else, then I, I should probably bid three no Trump. Um, you're rolling the dice some, but the people at the other tables playing against them are doing the same. So is that picking on the people with zero to 49 master points? No. I mean, we were there once ourselves. So when you say about the robots, if the robots, you know, are not going to always make the best line of play. And John had mentioned some things on sometimes he makes some risky no Trump bids. And we had one today where we had Queen doubleton in clubs and our partner yeah. had jack doubleton in clubs but they didn't lead that suit yeah. they led away from jack fourth of hearts is that good for robots yeah. to do 
I hope so. <laughs> yes, I hope that they'll lead away from Jack Forth. As a human, do I lead away from Jack Forth? Hardly ever. So that's just some things that, you know, it may work only 55 yeah. or 60% of the time, but hey, if that's the best information we've got, those are some things I've learned. And if that helps you, that's what we're all here for, for you to at least consider whether leading away from a Jack Forth against three no Trump is smart or not. Does that make sense, Patty? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 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 So I think those are things where we get here again. When I first started out, I talked about self-awareness and situational awareness. And there were a couple times today, spa, whatever you want to call it, I wanted to make it where the opponents had some guesses. And in this hand, where we're taking a look at this last hand, is that, um, okay, the club came up. Um, I played a heart, fortunately, to the nine. That's just by when you get more experience, you have to say finesse for hopefully that East West has the 10. And then now, but if you take a look at what happens with the East perspective, once they play the club, then they play the East hearts because they don't want to play the minors. And so here again, you want to give the opponents the maximum number of guesses. And I think I'm going to finish it with that for today. So Patty and John, good to see you both. Thank you for being here and all the rest of you out there, Mary and company. Sorry, we got a little bumpy start there, but we eventually got it fixed. And um, so, um, I, Grace, you have anything else? I think that's it. Good. Well, good to have okay. you here all. Thank you, John. It was fun. Have a good trip. Oh, thank, thank you, you very much. We're going to be gone for a couple of days in the Redwoods and um, look forward to seeing you all next week. So until then, as always, happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy Peace trails. out. Bye for now. Bye -bye. Bye. Happy trails to you until we meet again or something like that.